3.4 number 11, our function here is f of z is equal to 1 over z squared plus 1. Even though by the look, this suggests that's used to the quotient rule, and the quotient rule will work, but let's not do that. Instead, I'm going to look at 1 over z squared plus 1 as something raised to the negative 1, and the inside right here is just the denominator, which is z squared plus 1. This right here can be looked at as z squared plus 1 inside raised to the negative 1 power. And after I do this, I can treat this as a chain rule equation because we have an inside function raised to the negative 1 power. So my outside function, which is my red f, it's going to be box to the negative 1 power. And my g function, which is the inside function, which is going to be z squared plus 1. And now, differentiate the red f. The derivative of box to negative 1, or use the, uh, the power rule, it's going to be negative box. And then take away 1 from the exponents, so you get negative 2. I might well write it as negative 1 over box, like this, to the positive second power. Okay, And then here, I'm going to differentiate g the derivative of z squared is going to be 2z. And you always cross the z in map, otherwise my 2 and the z, it's going to look alike. The derivative 1 is 0, so that's it. Now, I'm going to set up my derivative for the original function. I'm going to take g, this, z squared plus 1, and then put in the box right here. I'm going to end up with negative 1 over, this is going to be a parenthesis, z squared plus 1 goes inside of the parentheses, and that's to the second power. Okay? And then you multiply by g prime, you multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So I will multiply by 2z. And finally, I can put it all together, I can put a 2z on the top, so I will have negative 2z over this part z squared plus 1, parentheses, and then squared, like this.